how to get more reviews on Etsy. You know, it really amazes me that Etsy doesn't have a better feedback system. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's even hard to find, like where to go to even leave the feedback. So, you know, I personally feel that they need to improve this. You know, I came across a shop the other day that had over 90,000 sales, but they only had like 4,000 in feedback. So this video is going to be about ways to get feedback. Before I get into the video, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos about how to make money online. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my email list, Make Money With Me Online, I will leave a link to that in the description below. And last, if you have not yet joined my Facebook group, you can find us on Facebook by searching under Groups. Simply type Etsy, Passive Income. Make sure to answer the couple of questions and we will gladly accept you into the group. Okay. So on to the video. I was going back through, I'm, a, I'm actually in my personal account on Etsy that I use to make purchases. So, you know, on here, this was back in August when I purchased these gold, these gold foil digital papers. And, you know, I have, I have not yet left feedback for this person. But I will tell you who I did leave feedback for. I'll get to that in a moment, so hang on. So is what I did, actually let me go back one, um, is how you do this is when you go up here, you go to your purchases and reviews, and you'll see everything that you have purchased. So if you click here on view receipt, this is going to show you where they actually put a note in here, and you should be doing this for all of your instant downloads. You need, to you need to include a note here. So she has on here, you know, thank you so much for choosing to shop with us. Please contact us on Etsy with any questions or problems. We are always happy to answer them. If you like our products, we really appreciate your product reviews. She is one of the few that I have actually seen put this in her description on, you know, we really appreciate your product reviews. Now that sounds very nicely put rather than saying, you know, please leave feedback. Now I have also seen with new sellers that they will put you know, we are new to selling to Etsy and we are hungry for feedback. So please don't forget to leave us feedback. You can also put that in here if you are new to selling on Etsy or you need more reviews. You can put something more comical or humorous like, you know, we are hungry for reviews. So that's one thing. Another thing that you can do is send them a coupon for 20% off, you know, if they come back to your shop and purchase more digital products from you, send them a coupon. So here's what happened with, and it's not going to show up, show up on here anymore, most likely, because this girl actually sent me a message and she asked me to leave her feedback. And she is the one that I actually left feedback for. So as you can tell, I've purchased a lot and I need to go through here and I need to leave feedback for quite a few of these. So I'm trying to find the one that asked me to leave feedback. And it might have been this one, but I'm not sure. But anyway, so another way to get feedback is you want to 
actually send them a message and you want to ask for it. Oh, it was this person right here. Um, Jenny L. Designs Shop. She did not hesitate to send me. She, she waited one week. You need to wait one week. And then you need to send them a message and say, Hey, you know, I hope you are enjoying your, your products, your digital files. When you get a chance, can you please leave me some feedback or however you want to word that? But she actually sent me an email and I think it was her. Well, why is it saying to leave feedback? Maybe it wasn't this one. Whichever one it was, someone sent me an email and they asked me straight up, you know, can you leave me feedback? So, you know, you just want to make sure that on all of these things, I'm going to click inside of this one. This person has absolutely nothing in their notes. They just have applied discounts, 10% off sale. There are no notes. That is another example of what not to do. You want to make sure that you include something because the more personal you make it, the more feedback you are going to get. So you need to make sure. Now let me go back to the one that has 90,000 in sales. And let me see what they say because I don't think they have anything and this might be why they don't have much feedback. So their shop is almost perfect. Okay, this was, no, this was not, that was not the shop. Oh, I think it was a shop I came across looking for. But I wanted to just read, because if I go in here and I read the receipt on this one, it just says, you know, we want to thank you and genuinely hope that your purchase exceeds all of your expectations. Please always feel free to contact me. I love interacting with all my fellow Etsians. We have many framing op options. We want you to be happy. Your success is important to us. So, you know, I think that adding a personal note is good, but there's nothing here that says, you know, please be sure to leave feedback. So if they don't leave feedback after the note, that you have in here, then one week later you need to send them an email. If they still don't leave feedback, try again one week later, but I would not exceed any more than two weeks. And I've got a funny story about that. And this has not nothing to do with Etsy, it was actually Amazon. So I went to a friend's house that, ha oh, actually, no, it's not a friend's house. That was a different, that was a outlet lights. My boyfriend, he has, he bought toilet lights and he took some down to the lake for his um, camper at the lake and then he has some at home and they are motion activated. So like when you get up in the middle of the night and you have to use the restroom, they, they're perfect. So I purchased them on Amazon and let me tell you, out of all the Amazon purchases I have ever made, they completely blew me up almost every single day to leave them feedback. And to the point where it ticked me off and I never did leave them feedback because they kept blowing me up. So you don't want to blow somebody up. I would say send them one email a week later and then try back again the next week and then after that just drop it. So I think if you do those things by including it in your notes that only they can see after they purchase, I would have it be the first sentence that you want to make sure they love their product and to please leave feedback. That should be your first sentence. I think if you do that in a combination of offering a coupon if they don't leave feedback or just sending them an email and touching base and asking, 
you know, hey, I hope you really enjoyed your product, you know, please leave me feedback when you get a chance. And especially if you're a new seller, it's okay to tell them, you know, hey, I'm a new seller, would you mind to leave me feedback? Thank you so much. So I hope all these ideas helped. Um, and if you do have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below this video. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading about making money online. Thanks so much for watching and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.